today, me and a ton of others have come together to honor the show that we know as Amphibia and the amazing crew behind it. Thinking all the way back to June of 2019, I remember first seeing the show. I couldn't quite grasp what the feeling was that I had when I was watching the first episode, but I knew it was good. Looking back on it now, I can definitely say that it reminded me of hearing bedtime stories when I was a kid, or looking through those fantasy world picture books that you'd find in the library in the kids section. Seeing the art style of the show and the way that the characters interact with each other, it just brings back this sense of wonder in me. Part of me just wanted to see so much more of this world. The animation, the colors, the humor. The humor was one of my absolute favorite things about this show. And the characters, I immediately fell in love with the cast of the show. The planters were literally the perfect people to find Anne in the first episode. Sprigg's energetic and curious personality just fit with Anne so well. And Anne was just the perfect protagonist for the show. Anne ends up being pretty different from your average female protagonist stuck in a fantasy world. She gets frustrated at how insane the world around her is, but she she has very relatable reactions anyone would have going through what she's going through. She's not perfect, she has flaws, and that's super relatable. It also fits really well with the fact that almost every episode, she's learning something from the planters about who she wants to be, and the planters are learning from her. And I love the fact that Matt and the crew took the time to make the episodes like these so that we could look back later on and be like, whoa, that was like super important. How did we not see that? The show was always laying groundwork for the next big moment that would happen, but it did it super subtly and in a way that we could take in and love these characters and the world more and more with every episode and grow more Connected, which leads us to the moment that the show hooked me. Me and my family had taken a special trip that year to go to Hawaii to celebrate the fact that I graduated. One evening while we were on the trip, Reunion came out, and I was like, sweet, I'm gonna watch it and see what happens. And I was blown away. Everything from them bringing up the election from earlier episodes, to us seeing how Sasha really acts, and then to Anne taking a stand for the people that she loves against Sasha. They don't matter! They're not just frogs, they're my friends! It was incredible. This episode just had me tearing up out of disbelief of what I just watched. And tearing up on the top of the tower at the end of the episode just, it got me. I did not think that Amphibia was going to have a lesson on toxic friends in it, but this was so well done. And from this point going forward, I was looking forward to everything about Amphibia. One year later, we got the season two trailer and I was flipping my lid. The fact that we got to leave Wartwood and see more of this world was just amazing. Also, Marcy. Fell in love with her character immediately, and I'm sure a lot of other people agree with me there. All the new characters, the new voices that we heard, the new environments we saw, everything, everything was crazy. Definitely had some moments that made me tear up unexpectedly too, like watching Hopping Mall. I know a lot of you guys cried during that part. Which just goes to show how well this show does with connecting the audience to the characters. I remember how excited the fandom was to see the three girls reunite, and when it happened, oh boy! Seeing all the girls girls' flaws kind of intermingle with each other was really interesting. I love seeing that Sasha hasn't really changed and that she's upset that Anne wants her to change. I loved the mystery of Marcy and what role she has to play in all of this. Plus the calm before the storm, Battle of the Bands. That episode was amazing! Then. I'm sure we all know what happened next. I'm sure everybody remembers the big True Colors leak. But even though that did happen, I loved seeing the support that people were giving the crew. And I for sure loved seeing members of the voice cast pop in and give their own separate messages to say, don't watch the episode, wait. But man, was it worth the wait. True Colors was hands down the greatest season finale of any animated show I have ever seen in my life. Everybody on the crew, the directors, the writers, the storyboard artists, the artists, the color designers, sound designers, music designers, voice actors, everybody killed it in this episode. You could tell that the crew had poured their heart and soul into every frame of this. Not to mention just what happened in the episode alone. Anne and Sasha's rematch. Andreas's reveal. Marcy's betrayal. Ugh, this hurts. And the first time I fully cried during the show. When Anne 
Andreas dropped Sprig. This moment just goes to show how much these characters have grown and connected with each other over these two seasons. And to see Anne get back up, all powered up, and fight for that connection was incredible. And Marcy's fate at the end of the episode was one of the most unexpected things I've ever seen. But all of this paved the way for the amazing run that season three was. And showing her parents how much of a different person she is now because of what she learned in Amphibia. Sasha being forced to face her controlling nature and then change as a person. Seeing all the characters that showed up in season one come back for this huge war against Andreas and the core for season three was amazing. Again, it just goes to show how much this show loves its characters. Everyone is here for a reason. And Andreas is probably one of the greatest villains of a Disney show I've seen in a long time. The series finale for Amphibia was explosive to say the least. Watching the girls react to Darcy for the first time was insane. I was cheering for multiple parts of All In just because I got to see the girls' arcs come full circle. Heck, even the planners were able to face off against the Heron. Sasha finally having her huge power moment that she is not that toxic, manipulative person anymore. And Marcy finally reconciling with the girls for what she's done. The journey was incredible from beginning to end. And speaking of end, the hardest thing. Let's just say this, I was crying for about 70% of this episode's runtime. You can truly see everything that Matt and the crew have worked to create up until this point come to fruition. The show's real message shines brightest in this episode that, yeah, change is difficult. And the story this show tells with that message is one of the greatest I've ever seen. This finale is so impactful knowing how far Anne has come as a person ever since the first episode of the show. She's finally grown to love herself. And because of that, she can finally stand up for what she believes in. And by doing so, she was able to accept the biggest changes in her life. I think that this message is probably one of the most important to be in shows these days is understanding your self-worth, knowing that if you believe something is right, you should stand by it. And I think that this message is going to stick with people for years after the show. Amphibia has resonated with so many different people, and we've all been loving the journey all the way up until the very end. Lots of lives were changed because of the messages in this show, and the characters that we grew to love that helped tell this story. But don't take my word for it. That's why I gathered everyone else here. So we could all share our gratitude for Amphibia and what it's done for us. This show has honestly been such a surprise joy for me to watch. It was funny, it was emotional, and Polly was everything. Just perfection. This is a series that had the highest highs and was a roller coaster all throughout that is gonna withstand the test of time. I'll never forget all the great characters it introduced me to along its journey. This show has this extraordinary trait to convey a very specific idea. The idea of change and growth, which has changed me for the better. My takeaway from the entire show is that friends will always find a way back to each other. To me, this show has really been one of the most impactful ones I've seen forever. From reacting to interacting with the fandom, I have memories to cherish forever. It's really helped me grow. This funny, funky frog show has caused me to experience the bliss of the fandom's insanity and also five stage of griefing its finale. Amphibia was always a show that gave me a comforting feeling of home. The show made me feel warm during a time where my life truly wasn't stable. And a lot of the self-expression it encouraged opened a ton of opportunities for me. So I'll always be grateful for the impact Amphibia had on me. We love I love Amphibia because it's such a unique and emotion-driven show. Amphibia not only made me a better person from watching its contents, but I've had the pleasure of meeting some incredibly cool people online due to shared interest of the show. I'm honestly in eternal debt to Matt and the rest of the Amphibia production crew. I love Amphibia. I love the world and how I like it feels. I love feeling like I'm part of it with Anne and the Planters. Amphibia has been such a fun adventure to have alongside me as I've gone through college, and it's such a joy to have a cartoon that has such love and respect for its characters with some of the best seasons finales I've ever seen in any cartoon ever. Perfect, even. It really is a massive achievement that Matt and his team pulled off some of the most emotional moments Disney Channel has ever seen in a primarily 11-minute cartoon, and I'll always think fondly on the times I spent with these characters. Amphibia has just inspired me so much in my own creativity, and its message is some change I will carry with me literally forever. Amphibia showed that the people who end up in your life by pure circumstance can have a long-lasting and extremely positive effect on you, no matter how short they were a part of your life. Amphibia is a kind of show that you cherish forever. It'll always be in my heart as my most favorite show, and I wouldn't be the same without it. It's truly been an honor to watch and appreciate this story and journey that you guys put us through. All the 
joy, all the angst. It truly, truly was a great experience watching this show. I am honored to experience Amphibia at my old time low and seeing it with Silver around the same time as I graduate to my next chapter in life. Amphibia means a lot to me and I'm sure it's a comfort show for just about everybody in the community. Amphibia is just that powerful and I'm glad that I was there to witness it. Amphibia has pulled off what so many people aspire to do with their stories in a way that's going to stick with its audience for years to come. Thank you for giving us an honest portrayal of toxic relationships and a genuine, authentic growth of all the characters we've come to know and love. The attachment I have to Anne Boon Choi, Sprig, Polly, and Hapadaya Planter is just one I cannot see myself forming with another cast for quite some time. So Matt and the Amphibia crew, on behalf of me, everyone in this video, and all Amphibia fans across the world, we'd like to say thank you. Thank you, Amphibia. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to Amphibia. Thank you, Amphibia. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for everything. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for making me laugh, and thank you for making me cry. Thank you, Amphibia. Matt, you've been a huge inspiration to me and countless others, so thank you all so much for making Amphibia. And to everyone watching this video, remember, it can be the hardest thing embracing change, but as long as you remember that you're not alone, it's no big deal, right?